Ripple CBDC advisor Anthony Welfare disclosed in a tweet yesterday that the Silicon Valley-based tech company was ranked as a top and established leader for central bank digital currencies. Ripple was ranked number one and an established leader for CBDC from 15 vendors, Welfare tweeted yesterday. According to data shared by Welfare, Ripple was ranked as an established leader for CBDC for multiple reasons, including the company's existing success with RippleNet. Other reasons include Ripple's technological capabilities within the CBDC space and its existing deployments and growth within the emerging space. Ripple was ranked as an established leader for CBDC alongside other top fintech companies, including Stellar, MasterCard, R3, etc. Notably, the development was first shared in a recent report by Juniper Research, a group of experts analyzing today's fintech and payments market. For the report, the value of CBDC payments is expected to grow to a whopping $213 billion annually by 2030. This is a massive surge compared to the current annual growth of $100 million. Juniper Research noted that the annual value of payments via CBDC has been relatively low because CBDC adoption is currently limited to pilot projects. It speculates that governments across the world will drive widespread CBDC adoption. According to the report, these governments will leverage CBDC to boost financial inclusion and increase their control over how people make digital payments. Several countries have selected Ripple to work on different CBDC pilot programs. As reported earlier, the Central Bank of Montenegro partnered with Ripple to develop a pilot program for Montenegrin's digital currency. Similarly, Ripple partnered with Palau and Bhutan's central banks to create different CBDC pilots. Earlier this year, Welfare revealed that Ripple has collaborated with more than 20 countries on CBDC development. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Paul Growall, the chief legal officer of America's largest exchange Coinbase, has outlined the prerequisites for relisting XRP on the platform. Growall disclosed this while speaking with host Ash Bennington on the latest episode of Real Vision's Crypto Daily Briefing Show. Notably, Growall fielded questions from crypto proponents regarding Coinbase's lawsuit against the U.S. SEC, the legal climate surrounding the U.S. crypto industry, and how it affects its regulatory trajectory. One of the questions Bennington forwarded to Growall came from Ari, a prominent influencer within the XRP community. Ari asked, if the court finds secondary market sales of XRP are not securities, how would that affect the listing of XRP on Coinbase? In response, Growall emphasized that Coinbase always evaluates and reevaluates decisions surrounding the listing of assets on its platform. He pointed out that the exchange had to disable trading for XRP due to the lawsuit from the US SEC, which started in December 2020. Growall stressed that while XRP is still subject to litigation two years later, the Coinbase team is watching out for Judge Annalisa Torres' ruling on the case. This syncs with the sentiment within the XRP community and the broader crypto scene. However, Growall noted that a positive ruling for XRP would not automatically make Coinbase relist the asset. He remarked, however the judge rules, of course, we, Coinbase, are going to assess her ruling and any follow-on appeals and very much weigh the court's determination and any decision we might make about relisting XRP. Conclusively, Growall noted that Coinbase remains eager to hear the final ruling from Judge Torres to carry out these assessments before deciding if it is safe to relist XRP. As previously reported, Growall made similar comments in March while speaking on an episode of Thinking Crypto, a crypto-focused podcast. Amid the dynamic regulatory atmosphere surrounding digital assets in the U.S., the calls for Coinbase to relist XRP have recently intensified. This is due to recent developments, including Coinbase's lawsuit against the SEC and SEC chairperson Gary Gensler's inability to categorize ETH and XRP as securities during the recent congressional oversight hearing. Several proponents have seized the opportunity to highlight the extent of the regulatory uncertainty in the U.S. Moreover, last month, Growall disclosed that he agrees with attorney John Deaton's argument on what constitutes a security in the SEC versus Ripple case, signaling that Coinbase also does not see XRP as a security. Most recently, a meeting between Growall and Ripple's CLO Stuart Alderity further triggered calls for Coinbase to relist XRP. In a tweet today, Coinbase Chief Legal Officer Paul Growall thanked Ripple's General Counsel Stuart Alderity for hosting him. Growall, who noted that the duo needed to meet more often, attached a photo of him and Alderity, probably taken after the meeting. 
Reacting to the tweet, Alderity thanked Growall for coming over and chatting with Ripple's legal team at the company's off-site. Currently, there is still no information about what was discussed in the meeting. The companies could be sharing ideas on how to defend themselves against the SEC's adverse enforcement actions. Furthermore, prominent Australian-based lawyer Bill Morgan hopes that XRP community members choose a more polite approach in reacting to comments by Mark Fagel, a former SEC lawyer, who alleged that Ripple violated Section 5 of the United States Securities Act. For clarity, Section 5 requires all issuers of non-exempt securities to register with the SEC. Over the past week, Fagel claims that Ripple violated securities laws via its sales of XRP, which he describes as an unregistered security. The former SEC lawyer also asserts that the securities regulator has a better summary judgment argument than Ripple. Additionally, Fagel said that based on his three decades of experience as a lawyer for and against the SEC, the regulator is correct to assert that Ripple violated Section 5 of the Securities Act. My opinion, based on 30 years as a lawyer both for and against the SEC, is that the SEC is correct that Ripple violated Section 5, he said. The former SEC lawyer has continued to be a thorn in the flesh of XRP community members by consistently stating that the regulator would be victorious against Ripple based on Section 5. Despite expressing confidence that the SEC will win the case, Fagel says he will not be surprised if the court grants summary judgment in Ripple's favor. But I also wouldn't be shocked if the court rules otherwise, Fagel said. However, Fagel's previous assertions have continued to provoke XRP community members. In a tweet yesterday, an XRP community member accused him of being biased and ignorant for stating that Ripple offered unregistered security. Reacting to Fagel's recent assertions, Attorney Morgan urged XRP community members not to be discourteous to the former Securities and Exchange Commission lawyer. Instead, Morgan said they should thank Fagel for sharing his views and debate his opinion that Ripple violated Section 5. Meanwhile, the lawsuit is gradually approaching its end. The parties have filed their respective summary judgment motions and await Judge Annalisa Torres to issue a ruling. Currently, there is no official date on when the judge will rule. However, XRP community members rely on predictions made by crypto law founder John Deaton, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, and the leading blockchain company. While Deaton expects the ruling to come on or before today based on Judge Torres' previous ruling timeline, Ripple CEO believes the final verdict will come within the first half of 2023. Notably, Ripple is optimistic that Judge Torres will issue the ruling before the end of the year. Now to the big question of the day. Can XRP ever get to its ultimate price target of $27? Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Egret Crypto, a prominent crypto analyst, has continued to uphold his narrative of a $27 price target for XRP. The notable chartist recently compiled several analyses he had previously made to highlight the opportunities and challenges XRP will face on its journey to the price target. The analyst sought to identify these factors in a composite analysis dubbed the Bermuda Triangle Chart. He highlighted seven crucial points in XRP's journey to $27 in the coming days. These points had been addressed in past analyses. Y highlighted the seven arcs, which represent seven Fibonacci price targets. These arcs are drawn around important price levels, particularly resistance points. Notably, the first arc is set at $0.60, cents, the third arc at $1, and the seventh arc at $27. XRP would need to conquer each of these arcs to hit $27. The analyst also put XRP's market clearing price at $1.90. A market clearing price is at which the number of people willing to sell XRP equals the number of people willing to buy XRP. At this price, there is no excess supply or demand for XRP, and the market for XRP would be in equilibrium. Moreover, Egret called attention to the Atlas line, a diagonal line that has been serving as support for XRP whenever the asset faces a sharp drop. He noted that XRP needs to tower above this line by all means. This can only happen with a price surge, as observed between 2015 and 2017 as well as between 2017 and 2022. He further highlighted a point called the final wake-up line, which he believes would lead XRP to a fierce zone dubbed the Red Lake. Notably, the final wake-up line currently sits at $0.60, cents, which is the point of the first arc. Once XRP conquers this point, it will slip into the Red Lake. 
The Red Lake is one of the most decisive regions in XRP's journey to $27 as it represents an area where the bears, sellers, and the bulls, buyers, will struggle to take control of the XRP's next price point. The second and third arcs are within the Red Lake. According to him, towering over the Red Lake would bring XRP to a region Egreg calls the Stratosphere, which will either propel XRP's price higher or prevent it from rising for several months. However, once XRP conquers the Stratosphere region, it would skyrocket to the Blue Ocean region where sharks and whales will start coming to swim. This possibly refers to a point when XRP will see demand from mid-sized investors, sharks, and deep-pocketed investors, whales. Notably, four arcs are found within the Blue Ocean Zone, including the $27 arc. Meanwhile, XRP is changing hands at $0.46 cents currently and up 1.34% in the past 24 hours. The asset has continued to defend the $0.46 cents point despite occasional dips, looking to leverage it for the next run. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened